when Union Army General Gordon G. proclaimed our freedom, slaves were still legal in Delaware, and yeah, Kentucky still beat them. See, the Emancipation Proclamation never actually freed them. Different states got the news late, some years later even. Juneteenth, it hit Texas. May 20th, news hit Florida. April 1862, when D.C. had freed all of them. Tennessee, different date too. Black troops were out enforcing them. We should get paid work days for all dates. We should celebrate all of them. Like on May 20th, when we commemorate Floridas. The day Duval, former slaves, finally heard freedom calling them. The day recognized as the day blacks heard word from Tallahassee, told we are shackle free at last. Thank God Almighty, yes, that free. It's Emancipation Day, hooray, but where are we exactly? Our first annual year here celebrating free black queens and black kings. 150 years later, we finally establish a hold. In Jacksonville, that marks our history here, precious is gold. That date on May 20th, no longer us bought then sold. They broke the news two years later. Boy, that's a major uphold. And so they wonder why we barbecue and cook out on the holidays. Celebrating them yet subconsciously commemorating slave runaways. Those who set an example for our then commander in chief told he cannot hold us back to set that date for release my brother's profile for their clothes style set all of them free. We're still changing schools' names here quite generally. Andrew Jackson, who sold slaves during his presidency, caused the youth to promote that change we all want to see. And Maul Jones hopes Jax leads a long-lived legacy for my kids and your kids, even their kids to see. We need all races and creeds to feed this truth to our nation and celebrate the true date of all states' emancipation. Happy Emancipation Day, Duval.